Hey guys, what's going on? Christina Wood here live from Long Island. I'm in my kitchen today. Got some music going. We're gonna cook some keto cream cheese pancakes. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit. Hold on. Um, so we're gonna cook some keto cream cheese pancakes. They're so delicious. I'm sorry if the, I think we're pretty, actually I set this up pretty good. You guys, if you ever wanna do um, live videos, where you have to have your phone close, but you want um, distance, get the, um, the fisheye lens from Amazon, okay? So as you're dropping in, hey, Courtney Shorty, my girl. As you're dropping in, say hello down below. Tell me where you're coming in from. Let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. This is like lunch slash dinner. You guys know I went out last night. Me and Jackie, we went dancing till 2 a.m. And, um, and then we talked in the car to like, 4 a.m. So I didn't wake up till very late today. So this is actually, I think this is the first thing I'm eating today. Um, but anyways, so we're gonna cook. I'm so excited. Okay, so go ahead and say hello. Let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. I'm gonna run you through. Hey Char, what's going on? I'm gonna run you through um, exactly how I make them. They're so freaking simple. If you guys can see, these are all the ingredients I have right here. Like everything is listed right here. Um, so I start with a Nutribullet, okay? Yes, this is Miley. I went, <laughs> I saw Miley in concert, um, God, it was two and a half years ago when she came out with that, um, that really good CD. What was the good CD that she came out with? Where she like got a little raunchy, but it was before she was smoking too much pot. Um, <laughs> it was a really good concert, I'm not gonna lie. It was like one of the best concerts of my life. Um, and then she got a little cray cray. But, um, oh, thanks, Nicole! <laughs> I love you, girl. I'm so glad you're back on my lives. Like, I, I just adore you. Uh, yes, Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball, um, what is it? Not Party in the USA. What was the other one? We Can't Stop? I love that song so much. So anyways, uh, I'm cracking three eggs in the Nutribullet, you guys, the Nutribullet is the best investment you could ever make. I don't make smoothies in it, I just blend in it. And I don't like using a regular blender because I hate washing dishes. If you hate washing dishes, drop a, I don't know, drop a two down below in the comments. I absolutely hate washing dishes, so this is much easier to clean than like a regular blender, you know? Um, so okay, so I use three eggs, the recipe that I uh, stole this from uses two eggs. Um, I like it a little more eggy. I like it a little thicker. So I use three Because it's breaking up my phone is being stupid. Oh, man. All right Well, I'll catch you on the replay girl And if you are catching the replay go ahead and drop hashtag replay down in the comments below Okay, so the main base of these pancakes is basically gonna be the three eggs I'm gonna put it on okay Guys get yourself a food scale. Okay, especially if you go keto this, this bad boy is $11, $11 at the Walmart. Um, really, really good investment for measuring your cheese. Okay, drop a cheese emoji <laughs> down below if you are a cheeseaholic because as soon as I went keto and I found out that I could eat cheese and not break out, Lord, I went a little crazy on the cheese. So get yourself a food scale. Just make sure you're not going like too cray cray. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna zero it out. Oh, oops. Let me, uh, let me zero it out. So I did the three eggs and then the cream cheese is gonna make up the base and then you just add a couple little things and that's it. You guys, this is the easiest recipe ever. If you're a bad cook like me, go ahead and drop a four down below in the comments because I cannot cook, I'm awful at it. So, all right, so we zeroed that out. So what we're gonna do is it's three eggs, two ounces of cheese, okay? So I'm just gonna grab a little a little spoon of dune here. I use Philadelphia cream cheese because you're worth it, okay? It's the best kind of cream cheese out there. Don't get that store brand. Same thing with mayonnaise. Those are the two things I I just can't do store brand. Um, you cannot, no. Oh, Lola, hello. Do you hear her? If you hear her, drop a cat emoji down below. Yes, cream cheese for pancakes. Dude, Lola, do you see her? I think she likes, she doesn't even like cheese. She just likes to smell it. Look at, look at this little rascal. Okay, so anyways, I get distracted very easily. Never, never store brand for that, right? Mayonnaise and cream cheese, like, just invest the extra 50 cents. I'm telling you, it'll change your life, right? All right, 
so we're at 0.9. Two ounces of cream cheese is a lot of cream cheese. Like, that's the beauty of keto. You can eat so much cheese, and it's so delicious. So anyway, like, do you see how much I'm putting in here? So that was 0.9. We're at 1.6 still. Go ahead and buy yourself the two-pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's $5 here in New York, so it's probably like $3 everywhere else. Um, and you get two big bars of cream cheese. Totes totes worth it okay all right we're at 1.9 we gotta get that last little ounce in there and now we're at 2.1 but you know what it's all good <laughs> yes donna i know you told me you have to girl i'm telling you you guys i thought that i was allergic to dairy because i would break out um i would get acne every time i ate dairy but i think when i don't know what the science is but when you cut the carbs and you're eating a lot of dairy like it's okay Oh, I know. Hey, As Aslan? Aslan? That is a beautiful name, whichever it is. Um, hi, welcome. Uh, okay, so I'm going to add, so we did three, three eggs, two ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to add one packet of stevia. This is the kind I use, the stevia in the raw or stevia. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's kind of like mauve, like mauve or mauve. Like, what do you say? I don't know. So anyway, I add just a packet of stevia. And then it calls for, I gotta get a teaspoon, hold on. Can you guys hear the music in the background? <laughs> I literally just YouTubed um, high vibe playlist, so. Um, all right, so we're gonna add a teaspoon, no, what was it? It's half a teaspoon or a third of a teaspoon, like very little of both cinnamon and vanilla extract. So I, the smallest increment I have is a teaspoon. So I'm literally just gonna pour like a tiny bit in there. You don't have to be super perfect with these recipes. Like just don't pour too much vanilla cause then it'll taste disgusting. But um, I just do a tiny bit. Oop, that might be too much. So I'll just like splash. Oh, oh splash ski. okay. Um, that's the only thing that like, you have to be really careful with vanilla because you can, you can definitely, Go a little crazy on the vanilla. Am I right or am I right? Um, all right, and then the cinnamon, I'm not even gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. They, it calls for a third tablespoon of, of cinnamon, so I mean, I guess like a little sprinkle. And I think that's it. I got the stevia, the cinnamon, the vanilla. As you can see, I'm doing this by memory, but I make these pretty often. Um, okay, so that's literally your pancake. So I'll, I'll repeat it again. It's three eggs, two ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, um, a sprinkle of cinnamon, one third tablespoon of vanilla, and a packet of stevia in the raw. That's it, okay? So we're gonna blend, blend, blend. As you guys are popping on, say hello. Ask me any questions, interact with me a little bit because we're gonna be cooking. So like, you might as well, right? So I'm gonna just, Mix it up in my Nutribullet. <laughs> it got so quiet. Okay. That's it. That's your pancake. I know it sounds really weird, but I'm going to cook it all the way through for you guys and show you guys. Now, I like to put Pam on the bottom, but if you're keto, you know that grass-fed better grass-fed butter is really good for you as well so you can line the pan with grass-fed butter but i like to save my fat because i like to put um more i put more cream cheese on top of the pancakes that's the way that i like to eat it um but you can put butter on it you can line the pan with butter um you really just want to stick to so for like three eggs three ounces of or three servings of fat so keep it's really simple you're literally just equaling out everything so I spray it with pan so that woo, so that I can save my fat for like the toppings you know what I'm saying um, but anyways this is the really crappy um, pan thingy what is this called oh my god what is this called like the four things I don't know drop it in the comments below I forget what it's called but this is my crappy one that kind of like sometimes it turns off out of nowhere so just pray for me Oh yeah. Oh, another tip, you guys. Make sure that you're using a really small pan because I used a bigger pan the first time I did it. A burner, thank you. 
<laughs> Thanks, Jess. Um, this is a really crappy burner. But anyway, um, I used a really big pan the first time, and they're kind of tough to flip because they're so thin. So when you get the smaller pan, it literally just covers the whole pan. And then when I flip it, it's so much easier, if that makes sense. Um, skillet, burner, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Clearly, I don't cook a lot. Um, but I love these pancakes. As you can see, really easy, really quick. Like, I'm done already. I'm literally just waiting for them to finish um, on the skillet. Quick cleanup because um, you're just going to clean up these two things and then the, the skillet. Like, that's it. You guys, I am all about that simple life. If you want to see more, like, simple recipes from me, especially keto, because you guys know I love keto now, um, drop a firecracker emoji in the comments if you would love to see more recipes but they're all I promise you like you guys I'm not a cook so they're all gonna be really simple another one of my favorite recipes is um, buffalo chicken and it's like the easiest thing ever it's literally <laughs> wait I won't spoil it for you but I can make that maybe every Sunday I can go live and do kind of like a keto food recipe type thing and chat with you guys because I do like these interactive um, these interactive lives anyway but um, all of my recipes are so stinking simple because I don't cook. So um, we're waiting for this to bubble up just like regular pancakes. Yeah, Jess, make them and let me know what you thought of them below. And then like I said, I like to put um, cream cheese or butter on top of it, but you can really do anything. Awesome, okay, so you guys wanna see more stuff. So I will definitely do that. Um, but yeah, they're not gonna be intricate. Um, they're not gonna be intricate recipes because that's just like, you guys know, like, I work a business from home. I don't like to take a lot of time to cook. I usually, when I do cook, I listen to personal development or really high vibe music and I kind of dance and stuff. Or I'll clean my dishes. I'm definitely like a multitasker. I like to get a lot of stuff done in a short period of time. Um, so I could definitely go live with you guys every Sunday and kind of figure that out. Um, so this looks like it's almost done on one side. So, like I said, the first time you cook these, they're probably going to be messy. So just tomorrow, like I'm just warning you, they're probably going to be a little messy. Um, you got to kind of like get the hang of how to flip them because they're so thin. They're almost like a crepe. If you guys have ever made a crepe, it kind of is like that because they're really, really thin. But as you can see, I still have all of this pancake mix left. So this makes about, I would say three to four nice sized pancakes. Like you can see the size here. They are pretty thin though. Um, but they're filling because it's all eggs, so, um, eggs and cream cheese. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I did it good. You get better and better every time, okay? Practice makes perfect. I promise you on that one. <laughs> so, um, just flip them. I don't think I put enough Pam on this. They're not really, like, moving around too much, but, you know, it's fine. Like, the first time I made it, it was literally a disaster. I'm going to be obsessed. I can see needing <laughs> new recipes for pancakes. Yeah, you guys try this. It's so freaking good. And I know that um, I really like if you're if you're paleo, you guys know I'm keto. But if you're paleo, you can do um, instead of cream cheese, you can do a banana and an egg. Um, I just found that that wasn't as filling for me. Like I did, I would do like one egg and one banana. Like that's that was the ratio. It's like that's not enough food for me. Okay. Just throw, more, just throw all the butter in there, right, Becky? Like, just keep throwing it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, I need a... Uh, it's not really, like, jiggling around too much. But, um, yeah. I love this recipe. This is, like, what I live off of. Okay, so it's definitely not done yet. Definitely not done. This burner might have turned off. Like, this is why... I usually do it on this burner, but I wanted, um, I wanted to have the Nutribullet in here. This is my first time doing a recipe live. It's a little uncomfortable for me. I'm a little nervous. Just like I was nervous the first time I did a makeup live. It's so funny. It's like um, I was watching my mentor, Jessie Lee, do a... She was doing a makeup tutorial yesterday, and she was talking about how she was so nervous. And she does these, like, crazy, like, business lives, like, really, like... Um, really sassy sometimes it's like controversial and she's like I'm never nervous for that and yet for this I'm so nervous and I was like I relate so hard because I feel the same way when I'm doing like these kind of different lives from what I usually do like the business lives plus it tastes much better but uh hell yeah girl <laughs> yeah Brie I am uh 
I'm a, I'm a little chef now, you know, it's just, I'm just, I'm a chef. It's true. So, um, these are almost done. The burner turned off, so I have to like wiggle it. It's the most annoying thing ever. It's been like this since I moved in. I just never got it fixed. I just don't usually use this burner. Okay, it's heating up again. And that's so annoying. I, I should probably just call my landlord, but he's such a good landlord. Like, I don't want to kind of, I don't know, be a pest, I guess. So, whatever. I'm drinking my ketones. About to eat my first meal of the day. Like I said, I was partying last night. You guys know I don't drink, but like, I can dance. Like, I can dance the night away. We got there at like, what time did we get there? We got there early. We got there at like 10 o'clock. It was the older crowd to like, probably like midnight, but we loved it. Cause I feel like when you go out dancing, when you're out with an older crowd, they don't give a hoot who's looking at them. So they're like, mm, they're like getting down on the dance floor. And me and Jackie are just like all about that. We're like, just be you, like have fun, be silly, like dance like you're a crazy person, dance like nobody's watching. Um, so we love the older crowd. So we got there at 10 and we left at, I want to say like 2.30. And then like I said, we drove back to Jackie's and we were sitting in her driveway for, <laughs> for like an hour because we were talking about business and life and just, oh my God, so much. That's a great way to create. Side note, wait, that would drive me nuts. Will you post a recipe after? I can, yeah. So you can use Max on top of keto pancake. Hell yeah, girl. Use Max on top of everything. What's ketone, wait, what's ketone syrup? I feel like you're describing something and I'm not picking it up right now. So <laughs> please elaborate, cause I, I don't know how to do that. All right, it's almost done. Usually they're really quick, usually this would be, this would have been done like five minutes ago, but like I said, my burner turned off, so um, it's taking a little longer. As soon as I finish this first pancake and I shut you guys off, I'm going to move it to this burner. But it's really cool because you finish one pancake, you kind of put it down, you know, put it down on the table, and then you do the second pancake. And then by the time you're like done buttering the first pancake, the second pancake is like done. Or if you're a really quick eater, you're done eating the first pancake, the second pancake is done. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, these are really good, guys. I, if you try these at home, do me a favor and you take a picture. If you put it on Instagram or your Facebook, tag me in it. I want to see it. Um, yeah, and if you're not my friend on Instagram or following me on Instagram, it's just soulfulpreneur. Um, and I spelled it wrong. Like, um, for the first, like, month I was in business, I spelled soulfulpreneur totally wrong. But um, I think I tagged it in, in, this, um, in this live. For the keto waffle contest, I made a Maui cream as a syrup for the waffle. What? Girl. Message me. Like, what? <laughs> Like cream using the cream because I have like five, like five boxes of it because I'm addicted. Oh my god, I have to try that, Becky. Oh my god, so good. Uh, but yeah, I think that this is pretty much done. Yep, this is pretty much done. So let me grab my plates. Hold on, you guys. I'm so extra. I have gold glitter plates. I believe. I'm like. Tell me if you're like this too. I believe in like like really cutesy simple things like this like this was super cheap like I bought four of them at TJ Maxx for like four bucks but they're so high vibe like they make me feel so good like I only eat off of my gold glitter plates now because it just makes me happier is that weird am I the only person that's like that I also only drink out of coffee cups that I am obsessed with like they have to be a cute, cute mug. They have to be like a nice color. They have to have like a cute saying on it because when I drink my coffee in the morning, like I just like to have that like, I don't know, like it just makes me feel better. I mean, maybe it's silly, but that's the way that I feel. Okay, so what I do to finish off, and I'm gonna put another one on, I always spray Pam in between or butter, okay? Because you wanna coat the pan. Like I said, these are so thin. So I'm gonna put the second on while I am finishing this first masterpiece. So I, what I do, if you love cream cheese, go ahead and drop another cheese emoji down below in the comments. If you love cream cheese, so I, what I do is I zero out my um, food scale thing and then I take another one more ounce of cream cheese and that is enough to like fully coat all of my pancakes. 
I know, it's like really extra. It's a lot of cream cheese, but hey, I lost like 20 pounds already. So something's working, you know? Okay, hold on. Let me zero it out. Ooh. Okay. Why isn't this working? Oh, because I'm on the burner. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just zero my, my thingy out again. Take the cream cheese off. Come on, food scale. This is what happened when you buy a food scale from Walmart. Glitter vibes all day. Hell yeah, girl. <laughs> Everything has to match. Yeah, Brie, when I move to my new place, I am like not taking anything with me because I want to get everything like matching and cute and I'm really into like like blue ocean tones and stuff like that perfect okay so we're at 0. 0.9 ounces which is perfect because we went 0. 0.1 ounces over the other one I'm usually like I'm not that crazy about it but I just put a little dollop of cream cheese on the side and that's how I make my pancakes I just cut them up eat them the second one's burning already see like the second one's pretty much look it's like almost done already it's kind of like not even because again, this burner sucks. <laughs> I, just, I just scared the crap out of my cat when I did that. Okay. All right. Anyways, this was super fun. If you guys enjoyed this live, go ahead and share it. Drop a 10 down below in the comments. Again, if you make these cream, pan cream cheese pancakes, please tag me in it. I want to see it. And um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for probably another business live, a little more serious, but um, I'll talk to you guys soon. So have a good one. Bye.